What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got another Swatcher review for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So today I am partnering up with KB Shimmer to bring you guys their summer 2021 nail polish collection which is called RV There Yet. <laughs> so we've got nine brand new polishes in a ton of different finishes. We've got multi-chrome, we've got hollow, we've got some scattered hollow, we have these really beautiful duo chromey shimmers, we even have a cream in there. Honestly, there's a lot going on in this collection collection. But before we get into the swatches, if you guys haven't heard of KB Shimmer before, they are an independent nail polish brand based in the US. They are five free, meaning they are free of five of the dangerous chemicals that are often found in nail polish. They are vegan and they are cruelty free. They also have a lot of really awesome, very affordable nail care stuff. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about that at the end as well. But yeah, let's just get into these polishes because they're absolutely gorgeous. So roll footage. As always, using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today, it is the KB Shimmer base coat. So we'll start off with RV There Yet, which is the name of the whole collection and also what I'm wearing in the intro and outro to this video. And oh my gosh, this was the first one I tried and I instantly fell in love with it. As you can see, just incredibly opaque in the first coat, but let me describe what it looks like first. It is a very grayed out lavender base and then it has this intense duochrome shimmer in it that shifts from copper to gold. And then we also have a hollow sparkle as well well as bigger hollow flakes in it. And this polish is so intense. There's so much depth to it. I absolutely fell in love. I love those little silvery chips of hollow because they just make it look so jeweled and awesome. Absolutely obsessed. Next up we have Pitcher This, and this is a very reddish leaning pink base. And it also has a similar vibe to RV there yet. So we've got this color shifting shimmer running throughout. It kind of shifts from orange into green and even sometimes blue in the shade. And then we also have the hollow sparkle as well as those bigger chunks of hollow. I don't even know how to describe these, but they're absolutely incredible. It just looks so jeweled and your nails sparkle no matter which way you are moving your hand around. The formula is absolutely incredible. Again, opaque in the first coat. The second coat just brings out more of that beautiful sparkle and shine. And I just love how much depth there is to this color. Like all of these have so many layers of excitement. It's not just one thing to look at on the nails. There's just so much going on and I absolutely love it. Next up, we have the shade Coast Through Life and I would call this an orchid color. This is actually a linear hollow polish and it is absolutely stunning. As you can see, again, just incredibly opaque. This was literally one coat for full coverage and because of the way that the brush is shaped, it just makes application so easy. There was literally no cleanup required and the color itself, super holographic, super stunning. Even without direct lighting, the base color is just so gorgeous. It's kind of somewhere between purple and pink and it looks perfect on the nails and as it dries you get a lot more of that hollow sparkle so it just shines so beautifully in the sun and in direct lighting. Next up we have the shade Red White and Bruise and this one is sort of an orangey red base color. It's actually a hollow jelly so we've got the jelly base going on and then we also have this scattered holographic glitter that's just absolutely packed into the polish and it looks stunning. The second coat gave me perfect coverage. It it actually looks a little bit redder on my nails than it looked in the bottle. I think it might just depend on your skin's undertone, but regardless, it's such a beautiful and sparkly color. You guys may know this about me, but the scattered hollow jellies are my favorite kind of hollow. So I was really excited to see the KB Shimmer formula with it because it's just so incredible to use. It just went on so smoothly and beautifully and it looked gorgeous on the nails. Next up, we have the shade Perfectly Suited, and this is the third and final shade that is in that same video vein with like the hollow chunks in it that make the polishes look jeweled. And this one's in a really beautiful sort of chartreuse base. And then we also have this beautiful shifty shimmer running throughout that shifts from gold to copper, as well as that holographic sparkle and these beautiful like chips of hollow that just look like beautiful crusty jewels on your nails. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound very appealing, but the polish is absolutely stunning. I love all of these. I would love a whole collection of polishes like this. Again, there's just so much going on in the polish. It's incredibly exciting just to look at. Next up, we have the shade Easy Glowing, and oh man, it really does glow. I did not expect 
that my camera would pick up how vibrant and neon this polish is and somehow my camera knew just how stunning this polish was. Honestly, I do think it's a little bit more neon than it looks on camera, but it still did a pretty good job. So we've got this super bright lemon lime neon base color going on and then we also have these color shifting multi-chromatic flakes running throughout. So the flakes shift from green to yellow to orange to like this coppery vibe and it looks absolutely gorgeous just in two coats. You get a touch of visible nail line because it is sort of a jelly-like formula, but honestly, I dig the vibe. I think it looks absolutely perfect. Next up, we have the shade Happy Camper, and this is the cream of the collection. It's just the absolute perfect Tiffany blue cream shade and the formula is just incredible. I feel like lighter shades are always a little bit more difficult to get right, but this one gave me perfect coverage in two coats. It was super self-leveling, really easy to use. And again, that brush that these polishes come with just make applications so smooth and easy. I think this is a very, very beginner friendly brand. Next up, we have the shade Cruise Control and oh man, this is just the color of summer right here. We have this super vibrant blue base that has this color shifting shimmer running throughout and it's kind of every color. So like on the outer edges, it looks green into gold. In some lighting, it kind of looks like purpley pink. So the color definitely grows more intense with more coats. I thought it looked absolutely perfect in two coats. It covered up my visible nail line and I really love this soft summery vibe. I think this really just looks like I need to go into a pool immediately. <laughs> And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Lights Out. This is the multi-chrome of the collection and it's actually a black base that literally shifts every color of the rainbow. Honestly, you could only see a couple of the colors in my swatch. I have two different lighting sources here so you can kind of see some of that fuchsia pinky color as well as the deeper blue color. But this also shifts, this basically goes from blue to purple to pink to red to orange to yellow to green. <laughs> so like you really get every color no matter matter which way you are shifting your nail, it's going to look different. I love these black based multi-chromes. They just look absolutely stunning. And this one gave me really impressive coverage. It was two coats for full coverage. You could also wear a shade like this one coat over black if you want to save the polish, make it last longer. It's a pretty big bottle, so I don't think you have to do that, especially because it's only two coats. You don't even need a third. So here are all of the polishes together, and I honestly loved every single one of them. I feel like these shades just scream summer, and I know I mentioned it a couple of times, but I just love the depth of these colors. I love that there's so much going on in each shade. It's not just the base color and a type of shimmer, but there's like so much more. You can tell that there's like a lot of thought put into each polish and I really love that, but I especially love the formulas because the formulas are incredibly impressive. So those are the polishes and no surprise, I am super in love with all of them. I just feel like these formulas are just so impressive. They're self-leveling, they're so easy and smooth to work with. I love that rounded wide flat brush. It just makes application so perfect and you really don't need to clean up. And honestly, I'm kind of a sloppy painter. I usually clean up in between my layers of nail polish, but with these, I really didn't have to just because the ease of application was just absolutely perfect. So it's a very beginner friendly brand. So I'm normally the type of person who doesn't like a collection that has like a bunch of different finishes, but I feel like somehow it really works with these. All of the shades kind of work together and they all just kind of have the same vibe to them. So I really like that. Even though I feel like there's something for everyone in there, you can also get the full collection and it still works really well as a set. So these polishes come in these standard 15 milliliter bottles and they retail for $11 USD each on the KB Shimmer website. So I will link that down in the description for you guys. I mentioned in the beginning of the video that they have some really awesome nail care stuff. So I just wanted to mention that really quickly. Their base and top coats are $6 USD each for the 15 milliliter bottles, which is incredibly affordable. In fact, cheaper than some drugstore brands. And they are actually incredible. I love their fill and groovy base coat and I also love their Clearly On Top Quick Dry Top Coat. Both absolutely incredible. I'm wearing them on my nails right now in my manicure and they last so long on me. So very impressed with their base and top coat. They also have really incredible cleanup brushes. So I actually used to use the e.l.f. concealer brush, which is like $2. And I always thought that that was pretty good because they're super cheap and you can just use them until they fall apart. But ever since I started using the KB Shimmer cleanup brush, which I mentioned in the last KB Shimmer review, I have not stopped using it and I haven't had 
to replace it at all. So if you guys are interested in investing in a higher quality version, this is honestly the best cleanup brush that I've used. And it's honestly not even that big of an investment. It's $9 USD for their cleanup brushes. They have a few different sizes you can choose from. So if you're a fan of the rounded kind like I am, you can get that. If you like the more angled kind, they have that as well. But yeah, it ended up being, I think, cheaper overall because it's lasted longer than like four e.l.f. cleanup brushes would last for me because they always tend to like start to fall apart in the acetone. But this one has been lasting a really long time and I don't plan on switching it anytime soon. So very impressed with that. Wanted to let you guys know as well. But yeah, that is it for my review. I really enjoyed these, but I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of these polishes? Are you into them? Have you picked any up or are you planning on it? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Big shout out to my Cosmic Admirals on Patreon, Amanda M, Braxton Scott, and Rainbow J. I really appreciate your support and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Kirsten and Kirsten wants to know, would you rather get one free round trip international plane ticket every year or be able to fly domestic anytime for free? That is a tough question. So I should preface this by saying I actually am not a travel person. I get really bad anxiety, especially about flying. It's just something that makes me very nervous. Just I don't like the feeling of being like trapped in an airplane for a, a long period of time. So not a huge fan of that. And because of that, I'm inclined to want to say I would rather travel just once a year. And I think it would be awesome to get to experience a lot of different countries, which I, I haven't really been to any. But on the other hand, I think there would also be a really cool opportunity for me to get myself used to flying by flying domestic all the time. And then I could get over my fear of flying and then I could pay for my international flights. And it also kind of presents itself as a cool opportunity because, you know, I actually live in the US. There are 50 different states here and each one is kind of different. I've only ever lived in two in my life and I have to say both of them were very, very different experiences. So I feel like visiting other states would be really cool and if I did have that opportunity, I would probably want to try every state and see how I feel about it. So maybe I would pick the domestic one and then I would just pay for my, my international travel. I think that's going to be my answer. But I want to hear what you guys would choose, so let me know in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!